Oh, we're in wet and snowy Sheffield this morning. It's cold, it's just started chucking it down, so you know, win-win. Another Facebook market pickup. I've been getting into the habit of checking on Facebook a bit more often, just, just having a quick look on the marketplace. I don't exactly know what to search for, but if some bargains pop up on the main page, then I'll follow them up. After the great pickups last week and the week before, I thought it, you know it's probably worth checking, especially over winter, when it's more and more likely that car boots are going to either be tiny or just completely rained off. So we've actually got a nice pickup this morning from Sheffield. I paid up a bit, I paid £45 for the lot, but I think I can almost get all my money back from one toy. So I bought some vintage stuff. We've got Power Rangers, we've got Transformers, and then we've got something called Street Sharks, which I'd never heard of. And when you look them up, they're going in America for a lot of money and there's loads of different kinds. I've got four. Let's go through everything. So first things first, these were just an add-on that I saw on his listing and then I managed to get him to chuck them in for a fiver. It is two Transformers. I, I know at least one of them is Tomy. I've not checked this one, but they're pretty cool. They're kind of like metallic. They've got weapons and shields, which is always a bonus. I never find them with accessories. So, you know, hopefully that'll add a little bit of value to it. We then got this nice, smaller, metallic, shiny Optimus Prime. This one is a Tomy toy. It's pretty cool, and it's got a giant sword with it, so I think surely that'll add a little bit of value. I'm guessing that's the original sword. Its arms come off, but you never know. Master of Pieces has probably already got this and knows exactly what kind it is. But, you know, I'm learning. But, yeah, pretty cool. £2.50 each. Can't go wrong with that. I then picked up this Rhino Power Rangers, mainly because I used to have it as a kid and I've looked it up on eBay and the prices are all over the place. This is the legs from, are they called Megazords? The kind of bigger Power Ranger things that you make. This is a pair of legs. It might be missing part, I can't remember. But this, it might be missing a foot, I mean, but the actual model's complete. I got this one because I used to have this as a kid. I remember, I don't think I ever had the full thing. In this particular one, the comps are all over the place, but I'm sure somebody's getting, you know, between 20 and 40 pounds for this. So this is just an added bonus. I can't, for the life of me, put it back together. So that's my fault. Three hours later, I figured it out. The, the great thing about these, these are the Bandai, I think they're like 2001, is that all the joints are made out of metal. So it's really high quality and it's really durable. So it's in great condition. It transforms really well. And all the joints are made out of metal, as you can see. So it, it feels really weighty. So I think that might be 20 to 40 on that, especially with how clean it is. Really impressed with that. This is the pickup that I think will pay for most of the things we bought. I think it's a Tiger Zord, it's called. And it's working. It lights up. I can't remember how. There you go. It lights up. It's got some yellow into it, which these old toys will do. Are you going to shut up? I think it's 20 years old, 22 years old, something like that. But it's in overall good condition. It's gone yellow, but the stickers are good. Nothing's broken off of it. The stickers are actually, I'm really impressed with that. I think we can get about 40 quid for this. Just in time for, well, it'll be somebody's Christmas money that they're spending on it, I guess. And I've actually got 80% off fees at the minute. So, you know, it's going to be perfect for that. But the last, oh, we've dropped him. The last pickup is just something I'd never even heard of and hopefully there's going to be some good value in it. They cost £20 out of the bundle, but obviously I just, you know, I'll, I'll count it as 45 quid for everything and just see how much money I can get. They're called Street Sharks. I'd never heard of them. Absolutely no idea. This is 1995. There's loads of different models. The condition's not great on these, but they are super old. We've got this guy here with some roller blades and he's actually on like some wheels. I'm guessing they've all got different names. There was loads on eBay and I didn't find these exact ones. This one again, 1995. We've got this guy. We've got a hammerhead shark, which is this guy here. It, to be fair, it was only the first one that wasn't the best condition. These are all pretty good. And then finally, we've got this crazy freaky guy that's got some kind of cannon and his mouth opens too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. He's got a <laughs> sniper on his head. So yeah, I paid 20 quid for these. This one's 1997, made by Mattel. The other ones were 1995 by Wise, so this one might be slightly different. It looks to be the same kind of toy, but maybe it's just a different era. I'll use Google Lens and hopefully, you know, we can recoup some value on that. But like I said, I think that Tiger Zoid will pay for pretty much everything. 
and then all the rest will be profit. There won't be as much profit in these kind of Facebook pickups, but vintage toys, they're really cool. They look really good on the store and I'm hopefully going to be getting a shelf soon above where I do my eBay and where I film. So I'm going to start putting some cool collectibles on that until they sell. That's everything we picked up. Let's see if we can find some charity shops on the way home. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> I better look at car boot light, like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What about like, making a bit of like turning profit? Like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to hope? No idea. Yeah, uh, they're all over. You might get twenty quid for it, but. Yeah. Oh my god <laughs> what a what a day we've been to two charity shops one facebook market pickup we paid 45 pounds for all the toys from facebook i've just been to two charity shops now and we spent 48 pounds almost entirely even in both and i think we've got some pretty good stuff and the find of the day has got to be the Leeds united bomber jacket let's go through it all at home so we're back at home let's go over everything we bought at the first charity shop this was a massive cancer research in a like a retail park so it's like a full size warehouse kind of thing i've had a few good pickups from there like some football shirts and things like that but then for ages i've just not found anything 
We bought quite a bit of stuff today and one kind of guess which should pay off if it's complete, we'll see, but it's cool. The good thing about Cancer Research is they're super cheap. Pretty much all the clothing is like two, three or four pound. So a lot of this is just cheap bread and butter kind of sales, but it all adds up. New brand for me, this is a Gore Bikewear cycling jacket, jersey kind of thing. Looks to be worth about 20 quid with any look. You know, it, sometimes they're worth 20, 30, you never know, but I think this one's like 20 pound. Never heard of this, but golf wear tends to sell quite quick. Costs three pound, this is by Pro Quip, and it is a waterproof, actually really nice quality uh, jacket. See if it what it says. Nothing. It's got like a netted inside, it's a double XL, waterproof, by a brand called ProQuip. It looks quite smart, so I think they're worth about 20 25 quid. And again, these I'm not sure, I can't find a right comp. Brand new, you're looking at about 50 quid. These are a cam cargo pants. So the brand is KAM. But they look really cool, they've got loads going on, they're like a desert colour. You know, somebody's either going to rock them or get them for like airsoft. They say superior cam cargo pants. Not sure where they're from. They're a waist 42, so they're actually a really big size. So hopefully we might be able to charge a little bit more on these. And yeah, they're in really nice condition and they cost like three quid or something stupid. Last thing, this looks to be, I think, Golf. It is a brand called Sunice or Sunice. It's got a little logo on the back. It's like an active wear stretchy material this is a slim fit so it's probably not going to sell very well because it's a really slim fit it looks like at the waist size medium worth good money though i think these are like 20 to 30 on some of this stuff this is a guess never heard of it and i don't know if it works i had a quick look on ebay and some of these are selling for like 30 quid i don't know if it's complete or what it cost me two pound it is a new jam guitar like almost like an air guitar so I guess you play it. It's got pen on it, so that's always good fun. No idea how you turn it on. Ah. Okay, it might need some batteries, but it's like an air guitar with a play. These are like 30 quid or more, and this cost me like two pounds. So hopefully this is working and we a really cool gift for somebody. Last thing, big thing, is early learning center. I don't know if, how old it is, but it's awesome. It is the Dungeon of Doom playset. And when you look at the um, eBay listings for this, they're like 35 to 40 quid, but it's massive when it's fully built. I've got no idea what's in here. It could be, you know, half of it could be missing for all I know, but it's cool and it's got its original box. It cost me a tenner. I'm going to build as much of it as I can, photograph it with the box. And, you know, if it's complete, we'll be getting 40 quid, maybe a bit more. If it's not, I don't think we're going to lose money. I think we'll always be able to get 25 quid for this at a minimum. Yeah, really cool. It's really heavy. So I'm hoping there's a lot of bits in here, but with charity shops, you never know. If it's completely trashed, I can take it back. I've got two weeks, so I might do that when I'm off for Christmas. That's everything we bought from Cancer Research. We spent £25 in one trader shop and £23 in the other. I think this one might have been the £23-pounder. I don't have much luck at charity shops in terms of finding really nice clothing like the likes of Chatty Pete. So the way I use them is if I'm going somewhere and there's one on the way or on the way home, I try and get some bread and butter items and work on quantity over quality. So, you know, I might only get £10 profit per item, but that if I bought five things, that's an extra £50 that I wouldn't have had before. So it kind of makes the trips worth it. So I drove all the way to Sheffield. It was like a 45 minute drive to pick up the Facebook Marketplace pickup. But then on the way back, I spent another 50 quid and I'm probably going to get way more profit from this stuff than I will from, you know, the original pickups. But when you add it all together, I think we're definitely making good money. Second bag, this is from Bernardo's. This has got my favourite pickup of the day, possibly in a very long time. We'll do it last. So a lot of guesses here, but I kind of heard of the brands. I know they can be good if they're old. Not sure about new stuff, but I got a nice Quicksilver t-shirt. It's got a Quicksilver to spell out, and then it's got these cool little icons kind of dotted all over it. It's really nice quality. I'm guessing it's just cotton, but it, it's like the, um, the thick cotton stuff that you get with um, Gildan t-shirts and Fruit of the Loom, heavy cotton. It is really nice, and the colour is really good, and the graphic is barely worn at all. So, you know, three quid, no idea what it's worth, but 
it's a really nice piece. Again, Quicksilver. This was the first thing I saw from Quicksilver. I thought, oh, I've never had it before. And I know people make good money on it. So let's just buy it anyway. This is like a tan jacket. Uh, it's got a little Quicksilver hit on the chest and then really nice tag. It's got like a mesh net lining in it. And yeah, all in all, it feels really, Quicksilver stuff feels really good quality. And it's got logo in there. Yeah, really happy with that. I think I paid about six quid. I've got absolutely, in fact, I paid five quid. It's a size large. I've got no idea what the value could be. But while I was picking up stuff, I just kept grabbing stuff and I thought it's going to be worth some money and it looks really nice. I got a pretty green coat because he said it was four quid. I've not actually assessed if there's anything wrong with it. I don't think there is. I just instinctively picked it up. I'm not even sure if it's... A, it was in the men's uh, rail, but, you know, charity shops, it could be anything. It could be a women's, but it is like the proper... Is Pretty Green by one of the Oasis Gallagher's, or do they just rock it? I think they own it. I can't remember. But this is like their staple coat. You know, they put the rod up, and away you go. But it is a size something i've got no idea it's listed as being a size medium oh it's there size medium i think it might be a men's yeah but yeah it's got this really cool pattern going down the inside and then it's just a really nice coat a little tag on the back four quid no idea on the value of it but it is really nice so if it is a men's you know i could always keep it it's the best part about buying clothes at charity shops this might be the first proper formal shirt i've ever bought I'll probably never be able to sell it. I'll never manage to sell it, but it's pretty big. It is a TM Lewin Street London non-iron shirt. Finest two-fold cotton, size 38, 16 and a half collar. It's really nice condition. It feels really, really premium. <laughs> like Not like my work shirts that I wear. <laughs> this feels really good. And, you know, it looks quite nice. I'm not sure the best way to take nice pictures of these kind of shirts on eBay because obviously I've got my hanger. I've been trying to do a bit of, you know, the luxury pickers with the white background and the, the clothes actually hanging there. I'm not sure the best way to do these shirts are. So I think I'll go through some sold listings and see what the nicest pictures are and I'll try and replicate them. But yeah, that was about four quid and I think they go for about 20 plus postage. So happy with that. I bought some toys, taking after Ian, the master of pieces. I've sold these in the past. We got some Pokemon toys. These are just McDonald's. Um, but I got I got two Palkias, which I've sold individually before. And then I also got two Dialgas. So I think the idea, or my idea, was, you know, pair them together and have two different sets. I think I got, like, nearly a tenner for that before, even though it's McDonald's. So, you know, they might be £10 each, and I paid 50 pence per item. So two quid into possibly 20. Again... Thanks to Ian, I know about these. We've got some rescue bots, and I've not had these ones before. We've got a green one. I don't know the names. I've got absolutely no idea. I guess that's the joy. Oh, there we go. It oh, wow. It is a bear slash dinosaur. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 50p each. I normally get about a tenner for these, maybe a little bit more per one. I think I saw the bumblebee for about a tenner, maybe a little bit more. So, you know, I might be able to get the same for these or bundle them together. And it'll be a nice little listing. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. You know, if you, if you know, you know. But I've got my Leeds hoodie on. I've actually got a Leeds shirt on as well. And all I saw was this really, really faint smiley badge. And I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I already know. It's a size medium on it. It's six pounds. Couldn't believe it. It is a genuine Leeds United smiley, like bomber jacket, like grey, black, really nice with the metal smiley badge on it. And I know how expensive this jumper was, <laughs> so I know how much this stuff costs. And it is mint condition, really nice. I'm going to check the bottom tag so we can confirm that it is real. I can't see it being fake. Could be. <laughs> it's got a plastic wash label, but I'm pretty sure it's real. It is really nice. We'll find out. I'll see what I can find online. But if I don't sell it, I'm definitely wearing it. Can't even get the zip on now. There we go. 
but yeah it's like a thin lightweight bomber jacket really nice condition looks great super chuffed with it six pound i'm either going to sell it if it's real or keep it and wear it but you know it is awesome it's a really nice summer jacket well chuffed so that's everything we bought like i said we spent 48 pounds in the charity shops and we spent 45 pounds on facebook you've seen them pickups in the car so we don't need to go through them again i hope you guys have bought some cool stuff thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one